and YouTube and Spreaker and Clapper, Hop Hopper. So um, please forgive me um, if you're dealing with a working class life and you don't have a lot of uh, supporters um, helping you face to face, helping you in person. You're going to have to be innovative and there might be some delays and the quality might not be as high as you want. On Clapper, I have to record a three-minuter. I already wasted almost a minute with my introduction. So, um, and 15 minutes on Spreaker. Yeah, since I've got the free version of everything. Hub Hopper, I can record as long as I want, so I might end up recording a little longer. Um, I'm amazed by um, the mental wellness thing. And um, it may sound to many people in society like I'm, I'm full of myself, but I'm serious. Um, when you really want to do something, you know, it's like the Wright Brothers. When you really want to do something, you, you've got a vision in your head and in your heart that says, I want to do this. I want to, I want to fly. I want to fi figure out a way to fly an air, fly an airplane. Um, I felt that way about mental wellness and my roommate Bruce felt the same way about fixing bicycles. And if you're watching this video, I mean it, Bruce, if you're watching this, listening to this, I mean it. So, um, I got so ambitious with mental wellness that I formulated my own process. And as I formulated my own process, my surroundings started to change. And that's kind of funny because, um, you know, you, your surroundings don't really change, but you start to change. You start to change. I think I'm going to end up doing a part two on, um, Clapper because I'm, my time's almost up on Clapper. Um, I think I'm going to do, I don't know, oh, oh, heck, heck with it. My surroundings start to change. And um, when I look at my, 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 picked up, my picked up room now, my room, my room used to be a mess. I had a history of always having a messy room, you guys. And when I watch my room having been picked up every day now, when I, um, when I start eating healthier foods, and uh, when I start, my behavior starts to change, it's because something inside me is changing. So uh, my time just ended on Clapper. So I'm going to go ahead and keep on recording on Spreaker until my 15 minutes are up. And then on Hub Hopper, um, I can record a 60-minute episode if I want to. But I'll keep an eye on the time. I think I pretty much made my point... Um, on Clapper. So I'll go ahead and uh, upload that video. I'm on Clapper. Um, I don't know if my link to Clapper is on my podcast yet, but I'm going to um, put it up very soon because that's my new, one of my new platforms. I'm not doing TikTok anymore because it's hard for me to do it technologically because of my devices. And um, my financial situation, I can't afford a new device. And I even just lost a device. Um, the, the battery charger doesn't work inside the phone. So I can't charge it, so it died. And I simply can't uh, recharge it. Uh, my roommate is working on helping me find maybe a new charger that I can use remotely or use without a uh, cord. But uh, we're working on that too. We're both having financial and issues and we're both very overwhelmed by our mental illnesses and our situations. Environmental issues and financial and social issues. We're just bombarded. You know, there's always something we have to do and there's always something we need to improve in our lives and in the world, help improve in the world, you know, at least by doing our part. We believe in having social responsibility, even if we're not always uh, social or political. So, um, I'm noticing very mysteriously, I will say this again, my surroundings, my room is being picked up. It's because as I explore what is going on inside me, and as I explore the behaviors I need to deal with, and the emotions and thoughts processing I have to deal with in my modules, 
as I start dealing with the health module, as I start having a very a stronger desire to be healthy. Um, I have a stronger desire for a cleaner room. I have a stronger desire for a healthier body, uh, healthier teeth, and healthier uh, mind, healthier environment, healthier uh, social surroundings. Um, losing my tolerance for uh, losing my high tolerance for uh, pain and for grief and for um, too much mismanagement of empathy. Not to lose empathy, but to learn how to manage empathy better so that I don't have to let everybody else's problems get to me or I feel like I have to take care of everyone, codepe be codependent all the time. Um, it really strikes me that I, I still feel very guilty even about walking past my roommate's chair when his feet are sticking out and when he moves his feet for me when I have to move past his chair. I just, I feel like guilty about that and my uh, mentor is coaching me about the guilt and um, being able to tell uh, at church being able to tell my online church being able to tell uh, the church people that um, sometimes their live stream cuts out and I have and I miss the prayers I missed the communion prayer this morning I missed like maybe maybe uh, half of it because the uh, internet the uh, the uh, live stream cut out a few times and I'm learning how to diplomatically um, express myself and I used to either not express myself at all or I would get just get really pissed off and I'm um, working on that it's never learned how to do that I, all I learned how to do was survive and bargain with my environment life experiences module in my mental wellness process I'm also suffering from a measure of grief because I spent 50 years with a messy room. I spent 50 years being called a slob and a pig and a mess maker by my by my aunt because that that poor that poor blessed woman couldn't stand to watch me suffer and couldn't stand to watch my room be a mess and she was afraid that if she even touched my touched my messy room and tried to help me, she believed she was enabling me. And I have mixed feelings about that. Um part of me wishes she had she had helped me a little bit more because a child learns from their parents, you know, what, what they deserve. A child learns from their parents what they need. A child learns from their parents what is acceptable and what isn't. A child learns from their parents about boundaries and a child learns role modeling about how to take care of themselves. And what I, what I learned to imitate with that, that blessed woman was not to care at all, to just curse my, curse my sloppiness and not care at all about how my room looked or how it didn't. To even get mad at her and say, uh, fine, I'll put a keep out sign on my door. And that was when I was a teenager. And we used to fight all the time about it. So um, it's like my mental wellness process looks at my condition, my mental illness, from five angles instead of just one. I was my my uh, mental illness was often was more often than not seen by the mental health system by my family, my, meaning my aunt, the woman who took care of me after my, my mother passed away. My grandparents were in Kansas City. I was in Cal we were in California, so they were distant. And I think and I I have reason to believe my aunt even uh, created a distance between me and them because it was like she didn't like them. She didn't like my grandparents, her parents. She she always complained about them abusing her and my mom and I believed the story about the abuse and I honestly sympathized with her but I had this feeling that she didn't even believe that I sympathized she thought I didn't care she thought I was just sick she thought I was just you know un you know uncooperative and um she thought I was just um you know a pain in the neck you know a basic uh slob and a pig and uh, you know just someone who didn't care about about uh, respecting and taking care of herself and I didn't learn how to do that but now in my mental wellness process I'm learning how to do that I'm learning how to how to groom myself learning how I have to cut my bangs you know trim my bangs I'm learning how to do my hair um, keep my hair brushed learning how to keep my my teeth clean I'm even trying to learn how to brush my teeth twice a day instead of once every other day no wonder I had 12 cavities not go to the dentist well I was honestly scared to go to the dentist and um, my aunt told me nightmarish stories about 
her dental life and she's like beware you know you don't end up like me so it's like I didn't even want to go to the dentist by the time I was an adult I didn't want to go and she had to drag me kicking and screaming when I was a child when I was a teenager she had to drag me kicking and screaming to get, get a cleaning so um, my life is mysteriously changing and I'm probably going to go through another layer or another stage in my mental wellness process when that happens. I've heard of people in Alcoholics Anonymous, and I'm in a 12-step program. I've heard of people in Alcoholics Anonymous say, I did grieve the loss of alcohol, but I didn't miss my old life. I didn't miss the death and the pain and the, and the relationship failures and all the general failures I had, the loss of my job, blah, 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 the loss of whatever. But I did miss... I did, I did grieve the loss of the alcohol, but I grieved even more the loss of my life. So, um, there might be some parts of my old life that I miss, but, um, I don't really miss it in general. I, in fact, I'm grieving what I wish I'd had, you know, I wish I'd had better examples from my caretaker. Um, and I, I have to let her go. And the way I, I need to let her go is to learn how to take care of myself. And I jokingly, affectionately call it YouTube University. I've been binge watching a lot of videos on how to, just how to treat myself better and take care of myself better and treat the world better. And as I do that, I look around my room and I notice I need to pick up, pick up uh, an undergarment here and a piece of dirty Kleenex there. And it's like, I'm picking up my room and it's like what is happening you know my, my, my roommate comes in and and, and, I, and I say Bruce am, am I in the wrong house so anyway it just it feels really strange to get better but I'm, I'm grateful for it it's gonna feel foreign for a while I'm gonna feel like I'm, I've got I'm gonna feel like I'm living in the body of a stranger for a while but I also barely remember the girl I used to be Hope you're all having a safe Sunday. Peace out.